Hi and welcome! My name is Tolan and I'm the co-founder of Productivity Me. In this video we're going to look at using the Control a keyboard shortcut in order to select an entire table's contents, then in order to select an entire table, and lastly how we can use it to select an entire worksheet. So that, let's get started. Earlier in the course we discussed numerous times the idea of Control a Control a when you just have a regular range, Pressing it once would select that range, and a second time would select that individual worksheet. So if we had, say, some titles here, we select it once, and it will select that entire area around our individual cells. But it's a little bit different when you have a table. So when you have a table, you have these labels, you have the table contents, and then you have the entire worksheet. So when you're in a table, a formal table, one that's been created in this way, when you press Control-A once, it will select the contents of that table. Control-A a second time, it will select the contents and the labels of that table. And then a third time, it will select the entire contents of your worksheet. So it's a little bit different than if you just had data. If you just had data that had not been put into the table format, when you press Control-A once, it would select the labels and the data and then control A a second time, it would select the entire worksheet. Whereas if you are in your table, you press control A once, it selects the table data, control A once, it selects the table data and the table titles or the table headers, and then control A a third time and it would select the entire worksheet. So with that, we have now covered the different keyboard shortcuts that allow you to do different types of special selections within Microsoft Word or rather within Microsoft Excel, what am I talking about? Our next task is to look at keyboard shortcuts that will make your life easier when entering data. So feel free to join us in that next section and we will begin with entering data and moving downwards. If you're interested, check that out in our next video. And as always, thanks for watching.